before we're going to simulate, we're going to reset the settings from the user interface so that we get we got the standard things from the menu and we're going to select the role advanced so this is version file help about nx uh, based on series 1899 and this is version 1915 okay um now we're gonna go to the modeling of the simulation um that was not good okay every uh, new simulation This takes a while. Uh, be sure that this here is select to all vis visible. If you do the did the reset uh, geometry of the reset uh, menus, then that's okay. This is the solo 100 we are gonna use. Um, I test this, so this is the old one. And we are now in the new version and we are in the FEM and we're going to assign a mesh collector and we're going to select, sorry, iron 60. Why? Because the thermal expansion co coefficient is not depending on temperature so we can verify the result easily so we select ok uh, iron 660 ok um, then we're gonna mesh it Select and then this and work okay four or oh, four millimeters is okay oh yeah important is that we don't forget to deselect this because we take have taken some effort to make this so we want to gonna use this okay this is okay then we go to the next step and before we go to the temperature loads, we're going to uh, fix fix uh, position this in, in space. And we're going to do that because, uh, let me see, use defined the z-axis. So we impose fixed on that side and that, uh, yeah. Okay, I did something wrong because I selected also the outside the outside face so now it is gone and I want to select this only let me see yeah that's okay that's okay okay now uh, because we uh, uh, constraint only the z-axis it, it can move that this shaft can extend due to uh, temperature load rigidly so we want we have to constrain something and what's happening if you add temperature it moves it becomes larger and does not move this direction so we can select the tangential uh, direction as a constraint and we're going to use that with the cylindrical constraint and this radial is allowed, axial is allowed. Oh, no, sorry, rotation is not allowed, axial growth is allowed. So we go on, and this is free, and this is free. And be sure to select only the polygon face. Yeah. Um, now the temperature load. Um, start here with 
right mouse button new load set temperature set then this the temperature of the environment is okay and then we can go to the load new load set define temperature set and we say 120 degrees so there's a difference of 100 degrees celsius for the ver uh, verification um that's and that's ev everything is done then then this should work um i hope we did, did everything okay so we don't have to look at that and we go to the solution results and first look at the displacement magnitude is a uh, good indicator that is, is really done and z should be zero yeah almost <laughs> and if we go to the tangential of a, the other um, coordinate system and that's here no that's not here that's here and we go here to absolute cylindrical because we did not move anything and then we go this becomes the r r radial direction yeah there's the r this is the tangential displacement it should be zero because we imposed that and that's okay and uh, that's the first indication that everything went okay so now we're gonna look at the reaction force and that should be in the z direction and we look the yellow question mark top down feature face and got this result so and i made a small calculation here and we can see we come about this, this is far less than one percent on the whole this round off correctly if you have a look at the formulas you can look at this uh, site for the formulas for the calculation thanks for your attention